Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. To God be the glory. We've come to magnify the Lord, to give him the praise. On this Sunday morning, we've come to give him glory, honor, and praise. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad within it. We welcome you to Bethel AME Church, Bloomfield, the land of unlimited love. And we have come this morning to magnify his name. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad within it. So whether you're at home or in this parking lot, let us rejoice and triumphantly sing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here. God from whom Oh, 
worthy. He is worthy, worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Just look at how good God is. He woke us up this morning. He starts us on our way. We're here in the house of the Lord this morning, and we're giving God the praise. Whether you're sitting in your driver's seat, or the passenger seat, or the back seat, whether you're in your front room, or the back room, or the kitchen, you are in the house of the Lord right now, and this is God's day that we opportunity to pray and we invite us all to go into an attitude of prayer thanking God for this day that he's given to us hallelujah and so we are going to ask Reverend Judy Simpson to come and pray this morning because God is worthy to be praised we want Reverend Judy to pray heaven down this morning amen because we need to touch heaven this morning. We need the Lord to bless us in a mighty good way. And so wherever you are, just begin to pray and ask God to touch. In Jesus' name, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and keep us. 
Yes. Oh, Father, we just thank you for so much. Thank you, Lord. For if we had a thousand tongues, we still could not thank you enough. Thank we you. thank you already for your word, Lord yes. God, that's going to come through your servant this yes. morning. Anoint him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, Lord God. Anoint him so that he might bring forth a word from you, Lord God. Hide him behind this sacred desk, Lord of God, and let your word come forth. Unstop our ears and cause us to understand what you are saying to us on this day. And we will forever praise you and glorify you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you can. rejoice today rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice because God is worthy of our praise amen he's worthy of our hallelujah he is worthy of the glory and so we've come to lift him up today hallelujah remember take your Sunday selfie post it to your page and tag the church, Bethel AME Church, Bloomfield CT, and we'll get it. We want to know who's in the land of unlimited love this morning. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes. We want to thank God for the inquiring news 
The Inquiring News uh, covered our press conference uh, last week, but church, the Inquiring News also blessed us with a donation uh, to help us remove the vandalism off of the wall. To God be the glory. And so we want to thank God for the Inquiring News and the donation that was given. We also want to thank God for uh, the community. We've received three letters from Bloomfield residents, um, persons that live in Seabury that are standing with us. And we want to let you know that uh, they are with us. Hallelujah. And so we praise God for them. Amen. 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 Uh, we want to continue to lift up in prayer those who have lost loved ones. Amen. We want to lift up Sister BJ uh, Taylor in the name of Jesus, who lost another family member. And so we want to ask God's prayer upon the family. Uh, we know they just lost uh, a, a family member, and now another family member has gone home to be with the Lord. And so we lift up Sister BJ and her family in the name of Jesus that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. Amen, amen, amen. The praise team is getting ready to bless us. Uh, we want to remind you of our giving opportunities uh, that we can give through GiveLify or PayPal. Look at the church, look up Bethel Amy Church, Bloomfield CT, and you can give through GiveLify. The picture of the church will pop up and you can follow the giving instructions there or the PayPal account. Again, Bethel AMA Church, Bloomfield, Connecticut, the land of unlimited love. Or uh, we are here until 11 a.m. You can drop it off at the church or mail it to the church. Uh, we thank God for those who are in the parking lot and the finance ministry is servicing you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now the praise team is coming to lift us a little higher and take us to another level in Christ Jesus. Us. And so praise team, won't you bless us and won't you receive them in your own way uh, as the praise team comes to minister to us.
that place when we needed intervention we needed someone to step in but there was no one there were no friends there were no family members there wasn't even a pastor who could turn it around but there was a way maker he made a way out of nowhere
We want to say happy blessed birthday to Sister Sabrina Dillard. Today is her birthday. Today, happy birthday to you. Working our sound ministry on her birthday. Today is her birthday. So when you drive past, beep and wave and say happy birthday. Have a blessed, wonderful birthday, Sister Sabrina. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank God for this day of worship. We thank God for this worship opportunity. Now, God, we pray for an anointed, blessed word. Send us a word of power, a word that we might sit at your feet and be blessed. We thank you for the opportunity to be in worship one more time. And so, Lord God, every time that we can come to the house of praise, in our spirit or in our home, in the car. We give your name glory. Be with us now, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. And just before we uh, go into the word, we want to uh, inform each of you that on Saturday, August the 29th, here at the church, we have a backpack, back to school backpack giveaway. And so please bring your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, bring them school age children, uh, bring them free backpacks, stuffed backpacks. We have them here. We do recognize the town of Bloomfield has something the same day. Uh, however, those are for Bloomfield residents. Ours are for anybody. Anybody that has a child that's school age, come and get a backpack. Anybody uh, that has a child that's school age, we have a backpack for you. And so come on out uh, and we thank God for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and we thank God for the blessing. We thank God for the blessing. Because this uh, it has been given to us uh, and our church has been uh, blessed with uh, this wonderful grant through uh, the sponsorship of Walgreens uh, Pharmacy and through Senator Douglas McCory to Bethel AME Church in Bloomfield, through Senator Douglas McCory and through Walgreens, Super, uh, uh, Walgreens Pharmacy for Bethel Church in Bloomfield. And so it is open to anyone who has a school age child. And we thank God for Senator Doug McCory. We thank God for Walgreens. And we thank God for our first lady who made the contacts and made sure that we got this grant. Amen. And so we praise God for Lady Jennifer and her work and love towards her church. Amen. 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 We need some help so we know our uh, director of Christian Ed is going to work with us. Amen. Praise be to God and her crew. And so uh, thank you in advance, Evangelist Ashanda, praise God. And thank you in advance to all who are going to help. But it's August 29th from 12 to 2. From 12 to 2, August 29th, free backpack giveaway. Amen. 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 We join your attention, my brothers and sisters, to the gospel according to Matthew, the sixth chapter, beginning at the fifth verse. Matthew, the sixth chapter, and beginning at the fifth verse. You'll find these words recorded. Jesus said, and when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like the pagans. 
for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask it. Hallelujah. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Amen. For a few moments, let's focus ourselves on this subject, rest in him. Rest in him. The disciples notices Jesus' routine. And on occasion, this occasion, they ask Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. Jesus says to his disciples, after this manner, pray like this. Jesus gives the disciples and gives us today a model for prayer. A template, if you will, for prayer. He says it's not to be repeated three or five or 25 times a day. It is not to repeat it, be repeated five times a day like the Shema. But it is a model for us on how we are to pray. It is the disciples' prayer, for he tells the disciples to pray like this. Jesus says, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue or on the street corner, and they want to be seen by other folk. And so they pray these long prayers so that others will be impressed by the words that they say. But rather, pray in your closet. Go in your room and close the door and pray to your father who will, who is unseen. And then your father who sees what you have done in secret will reward you in public and when you pray don't keep on babbling and going over and over and over and over again don't keep saying the same thing over and over again because god is not concerned with how many times you say it but rather he is concerned with what you do say for our father says after this wise, you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He gives us six or, uh, six or seven words, our Father, which art in heaven. These words do not comprise even a complete sentence but contain a wealth of truth uh, for whose depths can uh, be uh, whose uh, depths can uh, be felt through the breath and cannot span our fathomed understanding we must understand that these six words are helping us as a model of prayer that we might learn how to rest in him. Prayer is about learning how to rest. Hallelujah. Prayer is about resting. In light of verse 7 and verse 8, this prayer has been repeated mechanically by so many Christian believers. Many of us say the Lord's Prayer and we say it over and over and over again. And we can say it without even thinking. But my brothers and my sisters, this prayer, the Lord's Prayer, is not a mantra that we should repeat it mindlessly, but 
it is about our relationship with God and this prayer exemplifies kingdom values that we are a part of the kingdom of God and that this prayer helps us to recognize that we are a part of the kingdom where God is at the head of our kingdom and we are his followers. In other words, he is our father and we are his children and we can call on our God, our father, anytime that we want. We must recognize that prayer is about resting, but this prayer helps us to be in connection and communion with God because you can call him up anytime you want and you can tell the Lord all about your struggle. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide us to the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Prayer begins with a doxology. Just like worship begins with a doxology. We begin our worship experience by saying, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We begin worship with praise unto God. And so when we pray to God, before you ask God for anything that you need, you ought to acknowledge him and give him praise for who he is. We ought to first tell the Lord thank you. Thank you for being God all by yourself. Thank you uh, that you are God who is sovereign. Thank you that you are God that creates the whole world and has the world in the palm of your hands. Thank you that you look beyond our faults and that you meet our needs. Thank you uh, that you woke us up this morning. Thank you that I'm in my right mind. Thank you that I have the activities of my limbs. Thank you that I'm in my home and I'm not on the street. Thank you that you are an awesome God. Thank you that you're sovereign, that you're omnipresent, that you're omnipotent. Thank you that you can do it and I've seen you do it before. Thank you because you blessed me over and over and over again. Thank you because you healed my body, gave me strength to run on. Thank you because you give me, you pick me up and you turn me around. Thank you that you saved my soul. Thank you that you made me whole. Thank you that you made a way. Thank you that you paid my bills. You can't do anything before you tell the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God, for being a good God. Don't think that anything that you have, you got it on your own. But learn that everything that we have and everything that we are is because God is worthy to be praised. And because of grace and mercy, he looked beyond our faults and he blesses us with all of our needs. And guess what? He doesn't just give us our needs, but he's good enough to give us some of our wants. Hallelujah. Some of the things I don't deserve. He opens up the floodgate of heaven and pours out a blessing for me in spite of myself. And I thank God because even in the midst of my unrighteousness, he still opens up the floodgates of heaven, pours me out a blessing. I'm blessed better than I think I should be. I'm blessed because of his grace and his mercy. I'm blessed because the Lord has made a way out of no way. I'm blessed because he loves me with an omnipotent love. I'm blessed because he is a good God. Prayer starts with a doxology. Hallelujah. It starts with a doxology which always permeates the request for our physical needs. Before you can tell God what you need, you ought to start thanking him for who he is. When prayer are prayed, God's goodness and God's greatness 
are carefully balanced to, to achieve an intimate relationship with God without uh, sentimentality. Hallelujah. We must balance our prayer so that we understand our placement in the position of the prayer. We must recognize that we can approach the throne of God with grace. Hallelujah. That God is not the man upstairs, but rather God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. That he is not the man upstairs, but rather he is a sovereign God that, that called you into existence. And we have to respect the nature and the presence of our God. That when we come before God, that you can come before him boldly. But you can only come before him boldly because of your relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And because you know Jesus in the pardoning of your sin, we can boldly come before the presence of God. of our relationship with God and we can call him father verse 9 says our father which art in heaven he allows us to call him father father the Greek word father derived from the Aramaic Abba. Reverend Judy, Reverend Giddens, Reverend Walker, Reverend Gale, we know he is Abba. The Aramaic Abba is the closest understanding we have to the English word daddy. It is not just father in terms of formality, but rather daddy. When a child calls the male parent father, it is called, he is called father out of respect and authority and recognizing his parenthood. But when you know that parent and when you have a personal intimate relationship where that is your father. He is the one that takes care of me. And I love my father. Because my father will always take care of me. <laughs> Regardless of my mistakes, he loves me. Regardless of my falling short, he loves me. When I didn't make up my bed, he loves me. When I forgot to take out the trash, he loves me. When I didn't do it right, he loves me. When I didn't pass the test, he loves me. When I made some mistakes, he loves me. When I committed sin and transgressions, 
He loves me. And that's how God is with us. He is Abba, Father. He's Daddy. You got to know him for yourself. And it is a personal relational walk with God as your Abba, your Daddy. Now, in Judaism, they would never call him Abba. And that's the interesting thing in the text. Because Jesus said that he is Abba, Father. And when you call on him, Jesus said in the model of prayer, in the template of prayer, that you have to have a relationship that you can call him daddy. Hallelujah. See, the Jews would never think that they were close enough to God to call him daddy. And what the Jews would do is they would give him a name for everything that he was. And you heard Reverend Judy say in the prayer this morning that if you need him to be something, he is Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Then Reverend Judy said, if you are sick, he is Jehovah Rapha. Then Reverend Judy said, if you're in trouble, he is Jehovah Shammah. And then she said, if you're restless, he is Jehovah Shalom. Hallelujah. The Jews had a name for every need that you had in God. But I'm glad that Reverend Judy didn't stop there. That she went on and called him a daddy. She said, I'm a father, which I in heaven. Halloween be thy name. And I'm so glad that I can call him my daddy. That I call him my daddy. And that my daddy is always there. And I can rest in him. I can rest in him. And no matter what's going on in the world, I can rest in him. No matter what's going on in the community, I can rest in him. Because my daddy is bigger than this. My daddy is bigger than Corona. My daddy is bigger than Trump. My daddy is bigger than racism. My daddy is bigger than problems. My daddy is bigger than issues. My daddy is bigger than vandalism. My daddy is bigger than violence. My daddy, he's my daddy. He's your daddy. He's our daddy. Our daddy. I'm a father. I'm a, I'm a, our daddy. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Call him. And whatever you need, call your daddy. But it begins with a relationship with him. How can you call him daddy if you don't know him? And so as the doors of the church are open, I invite you to get to know him. Yes. Get to know him for yourself. Yes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I'll come back again. Because I didn't even get to the part about where he abides and how we get there. I didn't talk to us about him being holy. Yes. Because he's holy, we are holy. Yes. So we got a part two. But understand this, whatever you need from the Lord, he will provide. 
But the first thing we've got to do is begin with the praise. Let a doxology bubble up from the inside. Let it bubble up from the inside to the outside. Let your mind start going back and think of, of what God has done for you. Has he done anything for you? You ought to begin to say, praise the Lord. Has he ever made a way for you? You ought to say, thank you, God. Has he ever paid a bill that you didn't know how it was going to get paid? Say, thank you, God. Did he give you a job that you didn't know how or where it was going to come from? Thank you, God. Did the Lord keep you in a job that everyone else was being laid off around you, but you stayed and God kept you? Hallelujah. He's your father. So we want to say thank you, God. I'll serve you but call him your father. Call him daddy. Get to know your daddy. He's not so far away that you can't touch him. Because when you call on him, he ushers you before the throne of God with grace and boldly can come before his presence boldly and so the door of the church is open there might be someone who does not know Jesus we invite you to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior if you hear this word this morning and you want to get to know Jesus I want you to repeat these words Lord Jesus come into my heart right now I'm a sinner, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've done. Use me, Lord, for your glory. I'm your child and you're mine. I love you, God. Save my soul in Jesus' name. Now, if you don't have a church home, won't you come and join us? You can message us, inbox us on the Facebook account. You can call the church, 860-243-5778. And you can join the church. Let us know you want to be a part of this ministry. Our ministers will be in touch with you, will pray you through, will be with you in the midst of it all. Hallelujah. And so, my brother, my sister, we thank you for worshiping with us today. Remember to rest in him. Don't allow what's going on in the world to take you or to overtake you, over to overcome you. But rest in him because he's your daddy and daddy's going to take care of it. He's already taking care of it because he loves you and you and you. And you, and you, and you, and you. Hallelujah. I'll praise you. I'll praise you. Go in 
peace. I mean, the Lord bless you real good. All week long, pour out a blessing upon you. May he bless your house and your family. May he bless the car that you drive in. May he bless you and keep 